Hello, everyone watching at home. You're with Adelaide Eternal. We're back with some playtesting. We're playtesting Legacy. I'm Sarah McClinton, and here is Beckett Wolf. G'day, guys. So we are running back another matchup that we've been testing a little bit. Uh, I'm on a four-color control deck, and uh, Beckett, you're on a basically a budget Nick Fit version, one that doesn't have blue. Golgari Nick Fit, yeah, just green black. And look, when I built it, I wasn't trying to be budget. Uh, I just wanted to be streamlined. Um, but uh, because obviously you've got to play a lot of basics with the Nick fit, that's that's what you do. And if you play three colors, you can get a bit iffy. Um, but yeah, it's turned out, I reckon you, you you don't have to play any dual lands. Probably best to play at least one, but you don't actually have to play any dual lands. Um, and it's a great one for, for beginners, I think. Nice. Well, well, well recommended. Well, it's been very competitive. I mean, you've been uh, doing really well online and in our last match, we were one and one apiece. So uh, we're going to run that match up back again. We're uh, on our game ones and we will check who's going to go first. Do you like odds or evens? I like evens always, so. All right, that's me. So I'll oh, be able to play. Good luck. All right. Uh, likewise. Good luck, my friend. Let's start off with a snow-covered island into a ponder. You got it. All right, we'll go one, two, and three. Uh, okay, I think we're going to keep that and we're going to put them in, let's go, let's go that order like that. And I'll draw this card and I'll pass to you. In your end step, I'm just going to once upon a time. Oof, very nice. Play around that force negation. <laughs> this is something that people should get really, really used to, right? Playing around force and negation in a variety of different formats. Mm, they're so good, Sav. Mm, nice. It has to be a creature or land, so that makes it a lot easier. I'll take Questing Beast. Ooh. Yep, I definitely lost to that in our last match, so uh, I'm, I'm dreading it already. Then I'm just going to go a Veteran Explorer pass. Oof, the ideal opener, right? Very innocuous, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll hunt out and I'll draw. Uh, okay, so let's go. Uh, I'm going to play Prismatic Vista and I'll pass 10. Um. This is a weird scenario where you like always attack because if I have a coaddle, I'm definitely not blocking. <laughs> Let's, for Rexian Tower, sacrifice Veteran Explorer. Ooh, very nice. So you get double black. I do have double black floating yet. Okay. Uh, so we both get to lands. Uh, I might do something before that. Let's just see. Uh, one, two. Uh, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to cast a Brainstorm in response. You got it. So... This will just let me one, two, and three. Uh, and then I'll put away this and I'll put away this. Yeah, all right, I'll put these two away, then I'll shuffle. Okay. And I'll grab myself a swamp as well. All right. I've got a free shuff. Your friend, Questing Beast. Getting the questing beast out so quick, so so scary. Yeah, I mean, turn two questing beast is pretty strong. Mm. Although you are ramping your opponent, but I will say one thing about this deck: um, there's a lot of legacy decks out there that don't play any basics, or they just play one or two basics. And you know, the first random explorer they might get to fetch for their basics. But the second, the second and the third they don't get to fetch. That's when you can really power ahead on mana. Hmm. Yep, I think that's a solid analysis. All right, so uh, I think that given that the questing beast is kind of rumbling into the jungle over here, uh, I do actually have to swords. Oh, I, that would that would be nice, but I don't have it. Uh, I'm going to fetch trophy. Uh, I'm going to. Snapcaster brainstorm. Okay. 
Okay. The things you do, right? The things you do to manage the questing beast. All right. Because I could you know, brainstorming to force here is not the end of the world, right? Uh, okay, let's cast a brainstorm. One, two, and three. All right, we'll put away uh, one. Let's see. Uh, one and two. All right, I'll put those two away. All right, so questing beast. All right, questing beast. Uh, what are what are it says? Death touch vigilance uh, can't be blocked by things with two. Yeah. Can't prevent and, damage. Yeah, and when it hits you, your planeswalker takes that much damage as well. Oof. Target planeswalker. Oof. Disgusting. And next. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna take four. And I'll pass. All right, let's untap and draw. Oh, surprise, fancy seeing you here. Uh, we'll go one, two, three. Uh, I'm gonna cast an Uro. Oh yeah. And I'll gain three life. And I'll draw a card and I'll play that land. Very nice. Uh, and then I'll play land for turn, fetch, and I'll turn your guy into an elk. No. He's supposed to be the chosen one, so. <laughs> He's supposed to be the one that kills Uro. And by Uro, I mean Oko. That is so true. He's, he has uh, uh, a sad ending here, I'm afraid. Very sad and indeed. <laughs> then I'll pass turn to you. <laughs> Let's draw. Uh, Verdant Catacombs. Bash Oko. I think that's entirely reasonable. Then it's going to be your friend Scavenging Ooze. Uh, so Scavenging Ooze is the thing that I really did not want to have happen. Which is why I'm going to force a bullet. Oh, I don't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I'll pitch this force of will. Okay. Um, yeah, past him. All right. So let's untap and draw. All right. Uh, so I have an interesting question here. What are the... What's the converted mana cost of... Uh, of questing beast, surely I mean, it's... as an elk. Oh, it's truth. So it retains all of its original properties, right? Yeah, I mean, it loses all its abilities, but having four CMC isn't an ability; it's yeah. a property of the card. So I'd say it's still four. It's still four. So I cannot abrupt decay it. Okay. Good to know. Could be wrong. <laughs> Hypothetically, but I mean, it's not a token, right? Like the only way you'd be able to abrupt exactly it is if it became a token. So, uh, I think, do I make my own thing a beast? Yeah. Plus one, plus two, you snap custom match. Yeah. I think that's better. Uh, all right. And then I will pass. Oh, actually, because then I, I lose to removal with Oko. So, I'm just going to make a food token. Oh. All right. Go for it. And no Uro. No, because I'm one card short. Zero. Yeah, so not ideal. Oh, I should have like just chump blocked last turn. I'm gonna fetch. Um, and I'm gonna play a land for turn. I'm gonna play Titania. Uh, yep. And target this Verdant Catacombs. Seems strong. Mm, I think I'll call it there. Yep. Uh, in fact, I'll attack, sorry, I'll attack uh, Oko. Yeah, all right, I'll jump. All yours. All right. 
So let's go to mine. Because, uh, yeah, I suppose so. Like, you'll probably be able to find something to put in the bin for. Right? Yeah, like any cantrip gets me there, right? Yeah. Um, I'll just exile these five. And I'll make an Uro here. You got him. Boom. All right, I'll gain three life. And I'll... Oh, wait, is it? No, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yep. I will draw a card. Okay. Uh, and I won't play land. Okay, so let's go. What do we got? We're on four. So we're going to turn you. So if we turn you to Tanya into an elk, mm -hmm. then you end up having two, two, five threes? No, it's when it goes to the graveyard. So one, five, one extra five, three. Okay. So yeah, we'll turn her into an elk. All right. I'm just going to do a cheeky little play here. This is a nice little move. Uh, oh wait, fetch. is that is that a Phyrexian? I mean, it an is earth, a tower. Yeah, a tower. Yeah. So you can you can fetch your um, dried arbor. Right? I could fetch dried arbor and then sack dried arbor and make two five threes. Yeah, that's not what I want to have happen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I didn't recognize the new art. Sorry. The Let's go to, so if I can make him into an extra food, make an extra food. Uh, what's better here? So I've got, so turn this into an elk, be on five, you attack with everything, but then any additional land that you play is going to make even more guys. I think that you want to turn Titania into a 3-3 three, three elk. No matter way. what. Yeah. Yep. Because oh, your fair. Uro is pretty decent versus five threes. Yep. That's fair. All right. So I, uh, I will do that play. I will fetch dry Arba and then sack it. Yep. Um, and then Titania gets elk. So I've got two three threes and two five threes. Yeah. Which usually is enough to kill someone. Usually. Usually, but not this time. <laughs> <laughs> So blues are elks, whites are five threes. Five threes, nice. It's a formidable board. It's decent, but it gets pretty chumped by Uro. Mm. Seems to be the story of my life. Um, are you doing <laughs> anything else? No, I'm passing. Uh, it's a pretty good one. Uh-oh. Pretty good one off the top. Um, hmm. I think I probably want to do that. So it's Green Sun's Zenith. Mm. Do I want a Green Sun's for a Questing Beast? Or do I want a Green Sun's for a Titania? That's interesting. A Titania would be a, a lot more 5 threes and 3 threes. It's hard to deal with a many, many five threes, right? I can only yeah. jump. Questing Beast, it's hard. You can't block it either. I'm going to go True. Questing Beast. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, Green Sun's X equals four. So is, is your guy still called Questing Beast though, right? Because it loses all abilities. So you might not want to do that. It loses all abilities and becomes a green elk creature. Surely. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe its name is Elk. I'm pretty it's... sure it would be. An, it would still be. It would be called Elk, and it wouldn't be legendary because that's an ability. Surely. Oh, is it an ability? No, it's, mm, an ability. No, it's like a super type. <laughs> it might still be a legend. <laughs> but is it a legend with the same name? <laughs> yeah, it's a good question. Because when I've played against Oko on Moto. They're just elks, but then yeah. like, you can see underneath the card, like when you when you zoom on the card, you can like see it says elk on the front, but then you see the card on the bottom. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, what whatever the whatever Moto does is probably the correct one. So it's probably called elk. The creatures, card types, and subtypes are changed, changed, ah. but its super types are unchanged. It will still be legendary mm. or snow. That's relevant. Mm. Mm. It will still be legendary or snow. Ooh, that's interesting. 
That's all right. People who are commenting are going to tell us which one the, the right, it would, right it one is. be legendary and still have the same name. Oko's effects doesn't affect those characteristics. Yeah, so you can't choose Questing Beast here. True. Very interesting. In that case, I will just pay one more. Yep, go for it. Tanya number two. I mean, I was ifing on her. I think that the Questing Beast is a little bit better at beating... Mm. Beating, beating Oko. Oko. And Uro. I mean, another hypothetically, I could have just swung first mm. and then seen Make which me make the decision. Block. True, yeah. true. Uh, but this is fine. I'm going to get Ver Veteran. I'm going to get Verdant Catacombs even. Strong. It's going to be a yeah. lot of... There's a massive army. Play a land for turn. And so do I want to... Uh, is it... Yours is just a food token, right? This is just a food token. Yeah. So I've only got the one blocker. And you're on 20. I think I'd just be a little bit patient. Mm -hmm. past, uh, I don't think right. I want to start throwing away five threes. That's fair. All right, untap and draw. All right. Uh, this is definitely just what I needed. I definitely need one of these. I need some fixing. And get myself a ponder. All right, go one, two, and three. Okay. It's definitely not a shuffle, that's for sure. Now, question is, uh, let's see, I think we go, yep, this, and yep, that. All right. Uh, okay. You're going to have a massive army. Yeah, there's so there's a many of, critters. I mean, I'm playing green, right? Yeah. I'm definitely yeah. playing green. <laughs> You're definitely able to amass an army. Uh, okay, so so I'm keeping them all. Drawing this. All right. Uh, then I'm going one and two to play this. You got it. Oh, don't be a sweet this. <laughs> uh, I, I would windmill slam that. <laughs> I wouldn't put you through it. <laughs> um, and then we go one to play this and draw this. And then we go let's see, one, two, three. Uh, so I'll use Uro's alt. And I will give you a food token and you can give me a Titania. Uh, I will fetch in response, but you yep. can have a Titania. All right, cool. All right, here's my, oh, maybe yeah, this is my Titania there. Okay. All right. So we've got the ground shored up. <laughs> And now you end up having three five threes and two three threes. Yeah. It's a decent, decent board, but my, my board is also a uh, decent. Uh, so at that point, I'm going to pass turn to you. All right. I'll end a turn once upon a time. Oof. Yep. Go for it. And I will take Scoovinging Scooge. Yeah, that seems, seems fine. Totally, totally reasonable. Just have to make sure my Uro never dies. So, you've got a... Is that token of Titania? The Adelaide That's Eternal Titania, yep. yeah. I think I, do, do I want to swing? Put that down there. That's an Uro. Probably have an Uro somewhere that I can pop on the board. Let's go. How patient am I? Pretty patient. Depends Let's how much you start. think that the longer the game goes that you're favoured. That's a thing, right? I think I'm now favoured because I've got a Titania. Maybe. Hex Drinker is pretty good though. Ooh, Hex Drinker is good. Yeah. yeah he's going nice. to level and he's going to level and he's going to level. Uh, I'll respond to that last one with an abrupt decay. He's gone. And it's going to be... 
Um, Scoos. Yep, Scoos is here. It has arrived. Um, there's an argument to hold lands because of Tyler's tracker, but I think mm -hmm. I'm just going to play this forest. And I think I'm. Do I leave it one more turn? It depends how you who you think is favoured the longer the game goes, right? I think I'm I think I'm favoured, but there we go. We've got a Titania sitting around piles of cards. Um yeah, I think I'll just pass then. Alright. Uh, okay, fetch lands here we come. <laughs> so some fetch lands <laughs> to get some Titania action. Alright, draw. Okay. Uh, so we're on one, two, three. We're going to go. So you got scavenging ooze and a couple of tokens. So go one, two, three. Uh, I'm going to, and I'm going to use the astrolabe. Uh, I'm going to play Teferi. You're going to bounce one of your tokens. Uh, the five threes. Yep. Yeah. As much as I want to like, just keep, unless I, unless I want to bounce my astrolabe, just depends what else I'm planning to do in this turn. The draw, it says full stop, then draw. Like if I sack to uh, Frexing Tower, you, you'll still draw, right? No. So I think I have to target my own thing. Otherwise that would be bad. Turn up to, yeah, so if I target something and that thing's no longer there, I won't draw, but I could choose oh. to not target anything. So yeah, I'll, let's not do that then. I will bounce my astrolabe. Okay. Uh, okay, and then let's replay said astrolabe. Uh, what do we want? To screen here. Uh, actually, it's black here. Blue, wow, that's weird. All right, I'll play this Astrolabe and I'll, uh, so I draw a card off this, sorry, that'll help me determine. Yep, and then I'll draw a card off the Astrolabe. You got it. Okay. All right. So we've got the defenses set up. Uh, now let's go, I think it might just be a sneaky little pass of the turn because you've got one, two, so that's three, to three tokens. One, two, three, four, five, six, six critters. Uh, I'm going to start eat. So I'm going to yep. eat my hex drinker and my scavenging ooze with scavenging ooze. Yep. Make him really big. Make him a big boy. How many creatures do you have in your graveyard remaining? After that, there's dried arbor and veteran explorer. Oh, so you do have the ability to make it just massive. It's a big, it's a big boy. Um, I think I probably did pick an Alpha Strike, right? The swing back on Euro is so strong though, isn't it? Yeah, right. The, that that life swing, you kind of have to kill me and then not not let this happen. But also, I mean, Ice Fang Kirtle just deals with Scoos pretty easily. Yeah, so true. Ice Fang Kirtle will block Scoos. Euro will block a 5-3. Five, five, three. Three. And then I've got 16 here. You don't mm. even have to block with Titania. True. I can get in for 16 and then you can swing back with Uro. Yeah, and go back up to seven, but then you still have the board, right? Suppose. Suppose. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, you, yeah, I guess that's the same. Mm. You could block Uro on Scoos and then recast it yeah true all right i think i'd probably just alpha i'm gonna just have alpha. to i think yeah yep i think that's fair all right uh so yep you can swing and then i'll i'll block uh screws with the ice fang i'll block a five three with the uro and uh how many fetch lands do I have remaining in my deck? Let's see. One, two. So I've got, I've got 
eight, uh, eight fetch lands in the deck remaining. That's not bad. So maybe I don't want to block. Hmm. Uh, I think I think I'm good if I block. Uh, so I'll I'll block one of the five threes with Titania. As right, well. So Titania and a five three are going to die. Yep. Uro is blocking another five three. Uh, yep. And Scooze is being blocked by a Kodal. I think I'm just going to use Scooze before damage. Yeah. Eat your Ponder. Eat your Abrupt Decay. Eat your. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I think that's fair. And then I'm going to play Drag Tusk. Thrag Tusk. Woof. When it leaves play, oh, it makes sense. And things. I got in for what? Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, because I blocked one of the other ones. Yep. So if I take 11, I go to 9. Okay, so I'm on 9. Uh, and you can play Thrag Tusk. Thrag Tusk. Oof, that's interesting. Um, and so let's see. Thrag Tusk 5 3. Block this. Uh, All right, so th I guess Thrag Tusk is. I don't want it to resolve. Um, I'm going to force of will the Thrag Tusk and okay. pitch Uro. Your turn. All right, let's do that. Uh, end of turn, I will decay one of your five threes. There are last remaining five three. And then I'll go to one and stabilize. All right, let's attack with Uro. And I got a 15. All right, I'll gain three. I'll draw a card. It's just crazy how many cards you got in bin again. Like, if I so was quickly. to double block Uro, you know, you'd just be able to get there very, very quickly. Yeah, it's, it's really quick, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to play an Astrolabe. Yep. And I'll draw a card. Okay. And we go one, two, so we go up to two here. We go one, two, uh, and three. Uh, I'll play a Sylvan Library. Yep. Uh, and then I'll pass turn to you. Let's tap that. Okay. Let's tap like that. Let's go. Green suns for one. Green suns for one, and you've got six power on the board. I do. And no other cards in hand? None. Okay, I'll force a negation. Ah, uh, yeesh. <laughs> uh, Busted. Uh, and it gets exiled randomly. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you want to attack or you want to trade with my Uro? I think I want to trade. I mean, it's a good opportunity to kill Teferi, I suppose. But... Teferi's not really doing much, right? Yeah. You can attack me down to five, then I go up to eight, and then you attack me again. Nah. Nah. All right, so you're presenting the block. That's fair. Okay. Uh, untap. Uh, trigger this. One, two, and three. Uh, I won't spend any life. I'll just uh, take that. One card. One card. I go up to three here. Uh, and then we'll play. One, two, and three. three. Uh, and then I'll play OK. Yeesh. And I'll make Get a food. Do you want to turn it into an elk? Uh, no, nah, I'm going to make a food token. Okay. What a flex. Uh, and then I'm going to attack with Uro. Oh, and I'll, block. Well, I'll gain some life. Do I get blown out by a Brock Decay? Oh, you absolutely get blown out. All oh, right. Uh, oh. uh, <laughs> this is my hand, so. Yeah, forget. Force. <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, the swords were, were like sitting and building up in my hand, but I'd had no white mana. And the moment that I found an Astrolabe, I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, it was. Wowzers. 
Well, I can't complain. I drew a lot of gas. Yeah. Um, I drew like a lot of green suns and it's in the like game, etc. But True. Uh, not as the Uro. He just um and I had this huge board, but there's maybe I need to find something better for Uro because the six six is just so good versus my entire deck. Yeah, I think you've got the four main deck scavenging oozers and that's that's definitely relevant because for me I had to really engineer scenarios where I was playing Uro on the same turn after casting it or uh, you know, killing the screws first or, you know, countering the screws or something like that. Yeah. So that the four of them have been very, very good. Like, well, this list, good. this list is only running two, but my updated moto list, I've added up to four. Now. Mm. So, um, yeah, the, the screws I've just found to be really good. Like it's good. At, it's a good late game top deck. It's a good thing to turn to. And it's also like, you know, people still play, Storm and they want to pass in flames and they play like people are still on Black mm. Predator anime. Um, yeah, as I said, it's good at eating Delvers and gaining a bit of life. Yeah, so yeah. true. Good versus the Miracles decks because they play Snappies and stuff. So there's a lot that it's good against in this format right now. Yeah, even decks like this are running Scoos in the sideboard, like a one off Scoos. That's yeah, right. It's quite an interesting little situation where people are trying to manage Euros, but also have threats on the board. So it's quite interesting. Now that was me on the play. So now you have a game with you on the play. Alrighty. Well, hopefully we don't get Uroed. Hopefully we don't get O-code, but um, you know, that's what you do. <laughs> yeah. How crazy have green blue cards been in the last two mm. years? Green blue, just a, Color combination that's been largely ignored for you know, much of Magic's uh, competitive Magic's history, and Completely then agree. just yeah. bam out of nowhere, Oko Uro come out, and then uh, the Coadle. You're like, wow, this is insane. Uh, it's a keep from me. Uh, it's also a keep from me. Uh, once upon a time. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I cut the drag tusk for another Scoos. That's the drag tusk is old tech in this list. Yep. Yep. I think that's fair. So Let's take, I think trackers aren't good versus you. They're a little bit slow. Mm. Um, and you've got a lot of ways to answer them through swords. Oko. Okay, and swords and okay. Yeah. yeah. But I am going to take it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to thought seize you. Uh, I'll respond to thoughts is uh, of force of negation this. And I'll pass. Yeah, I think um, the force of negations in the main deck are so bad against you that I just have to leverage them in situations like that where I want to protect my astrolabe. And I'll draw. All right, go for it. Like, if yeah, you it's one issue with the astrolabe, isn't it? Is that you you kind of lock get locked into it a little bit? Yeah, yeah, very true. So, like, yeah, I don't I don't want to be force of negationing a hand disruption spell, but sometimes you just it's just the way your your hand. Yep, go for it. Your hand uh, just lines up. Pass. All right, untap and drop. Uh, you really wanted that dried up, what you say? I have, a, I have a fear that you're going to do something nasty. Are you going to do something nasty? This deck doesn't do nasty things, no. No, no. Yeah. Uh, this is the... It's the fairest of them all. The friend hug deck, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's it. You're doing... That, what's group, that? Group um, hug. EDH? Yeah, yeah. The EDH deck that, like... Z Z not, not Zerda. Uh, yeah, hippogriff. it's like a... It's a hippogriff. Oh, it's a hi hippogriff? I thought it was... Yeah, there's like a goat that gives people things. Oh, Zedru. <laughs> So Drew, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, but that's a nasty deck. Why are we talking about EDH stuff? I don't know. How did that do legacy to EDH? How does that work? <laughs> how does that People work? We've come here to see some competitive <laughs> magic and we're sitting here not only talking about EDH, but talking about friend hug EDH. <laughs> it's a tracker. Tyler's tracker. Yep. Results. Yeah, I just wanted to get my double clue. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. You got to do it sometimes. And I, I mean, like ramping one is just always going to be good to have an extra mana every turn. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to pass after my double clue. Alrighty, uh, I'm going to trigger my Sylvan Library. 
And uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, I think I would like to just take one of these cards. All right, let's take one of these and it's gonna be in that order. All right, one card, draw this, pop these two back. Okay, uh, I'll play this and uh, I'm going to, let's see, you got some business going on there. Thank you. You're gonna be a lot of clues, isn't it? And you've got how many cards in hand? Three in hand. Hmm. You're gonna be cracking clues up the wazoo. Uh, yeah, go for it. Yeah, plus like with the Silver Library, I'm not aggro, but I'm certainly like not not pressuring your life. Settled, exactly. You know? So like, I don't think I activate this more than once or so, but... Correct. Woo, nice. Three clues, seems good. Yeah, Correct is good at protecting uh, Questing Beast and good at rebouncing the Titania for more yeah. Toby boys. Nice. Yeah, then I like that. I think I'm going to get in there for three. You, you do what you got to do. I'm going to... Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's good. All right, I was going to crack before damage, but oh. if you're going to block, then I don't think I will. Yeah, I'll, I'll draw a card and then I'll block. <laughs> All right. Let's go... Thrag Tusk. Uh, yep, Thrag Dad's going to resolve. You can see how, like, uh, I'll just pass off that. You can see how Thrag Tusk is fine, but, like, yeah. Scoo's, there, Scoo's there would be, like, just as good. Yeah, so true. So why not just play Scoo's because it can interact more? Exactly all right. I'll trigger this. Let's go on. Two, 25 or 25. I did fetch. I think I went 24. Yeah, because, um, you know, like, if I went Scoo's and then like eat code or eat tracker, it would be a four, four and I'd have gained two life. It's very similar. So yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm going to cast a, oh, what am I? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go one and I'll cast an astrolabe. You got it. Draw this card uh, and then I'll cast a brainstorm. You got it. Yeah, we'll draw three. Uh, just, I, I don't want to take any damage just yet from these things, um, but I do want to put these two cards back. One, two, and uh, and play my fetch land. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to pass turn to you. More totally, boys. <laughs> when will it end? Uh... That's it. Any any time you don't want to swing, I'm also happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's just take a look at your hand. I'm going to go Cabal Therapy. Oh, interesting. Um, okay. That is actually very interesting. So we're going to go... I think we go Fetch here. Because, I mean, I've telegraphed Coatl, right? So I have to get rid of it from my hand. All right. Uh, I'll tap an Astrolabe and I'll cast a Coatl. Yep. In response. Yes, Coada was going to be the name. Um, all right. This. It's, it's possible I have an alternate line, but I don't think it's better given the nature of your board. So, yep. Boom. Yes. And so you draw, draw. Coada. And then what? Now, do you here's know? the thing. I feel like if you had Oko, Oko uptick on Astrolabe, make Thrag, like make a 3 3 blocks Thrag Tusk pretty well. So yeah. that would have been good. So you don't have Oko. Yeah, because they've already cantripped. Yeah. And then similarly with Uro, I feel like you want to Uro early, but maybe you don't because you're playing around Scoots. Mm. So I think I'm just actually going to name. Either Force or Ponder just to. I think it's force of will. Yep. Um, all right. You are very, very good. Now, I did just draw that just off the coaddle. Mm. So that's why your logic was sound. So it wasn't like some weird 
amazing bluff of not playing Oko, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because yeah, it is correct that Oko, one of these is pretty, pretty damn good. Um, but, and I feel almost like Swords, like, yeah, is, is also pretty good. I think, yeah, you just sack your, um, sack your dried up or something. Yeah, I might, I could swing as well. Yep. There's that. I could swing and then sack the drag. Hmm. You're always going to get value in this exchange, right? With the with these two. Let's. Because um, that was my my alternative play was to shoot off both of these. Yeah. But if I did that, then you take Coatle anyway, so I end up in a very similar sp spot. That's right. I will float a green and I will get your swords out. Yep. You got both of them. So that's the blowouts. Green Cobalt therapy. I'm gonna play black. And one, so that's three. Just play Pernicious Deed now while you don't have a force of negation. That seems strong. Just have it out there. Yeah, keep up correct. It does get Abrupt Decay though. It does, very true. Yeah. Um, but I think if you're drawing and playing Abrupt Decay here, mm. like then you're not... I guess you could pay for life and get a land as well. Yeah. But I, I don't think it's the end of the world. Um, I can't actually blow it though because I lose all three of my clue tokens. <laughs> you lose the clues. You kill the astrolabes, but they're yeah. not. Now that I have my colors, they're not That's doing right. that much. Do I swing to Kodal? I think Kodal like always going to be good. Yeah. Then you lie. You've got like three threes to attack. I think with. I will swing because otherwise you just elk it anyway. Yeah. Yep. So I'll Agreed. swing and I'll get a beast and I'll pass. I believe I have a beast token somewhere. Oh, nice. Something. Nice. Well, there's an elephant right yes. here, so that'll do for now. Uh, okay. So now that my now that I actually have to act, all right, I have to act. So, um, oh, foil beast, let's go. Nice. Let's go. Uh, so it's a really interesting spot here, right? So like, if I play Oko, and then I make one of these a three three then it basically forces you to crack the pernicious deed. So it's possible that I don't play Oko until I find an abrupt decay. I don't think I'm forced into cracking deed. I think because the deed will hit my beast as well. Yeah. And then you'll just be left with an Oko and I'll have nothing. So I don't think I want to crack deed for a while. Oh, wait. Yeah. Deed doesn't kill Oko. Wow. No. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll pay for life. And I'll put one card back. All right, uh, so let's go. Let's play. That's not still tapped. Let's play this. And would you like to make my three-three beast into an elk? <laughs> it's you know just to change the creature types. Sometimes you just want to change the creature types. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is going to become a yeah. an elk. This is going to go to five. This is going to be an elk. All right. Uh, okay, so you got one card, right? One. So I ponder, and because I'm going to shuffle this anyway, this is how much value I want to get out of my fetch land. Um, I think possibly it's ponder and then shuff. All right, let's cast ponder. One, two, and three. Yeah, all right. I'll put them in that order. I'll draw this. I'll put these back. How much was uh, Foil Oko? Uh, so the, they're actually reasonable now. About 30 bucks now because yeah. of the banning in modern. Mm. So very, very reasonable to get. That's why I could get like a playset for the for Legacy. Not like they were punishingly expensive before. Um, all right, I'm going to pass turn to you. So it depends, like, the deed leaving me with Oko. You kill my Valdus Bibliotech, but that's... And this is not really fixing me anymore. But Astrolabes... Crack a clue. Yep. Good call. Sure. Can we hit a land? Um, I think I'm going to attack Oko. Yeah, all right, I'll block. Then I think 
I will play. This is a hex drinker. Oh, a hex drinker. Hex drinkers. Um, so hex drinker can be turned into an elk. Can be. Can be if yes. I if I want to. Yes. Um, yeah. And he resolves. It. All right. Uh, so we're going to fetch because we don't need any of that nonsense. Okay. And I haven't seen, I saw Wasteland from you in the first game, but I didn't see another Wasteland from you for a long time. Yeah, that's right. I'm actually only running one Wasteland for um, Titania and also, because I'm uh, trying to ramp up waste. So yeah, I don't true. So I'm a play set, but I do want just one in there to deal with problem lands. Yeah, I see. Also, like, I can search for it with Once Upon a Time in the late game. If, you know, like, I want to I wanna find it, I just want to have one in there that I can search for it. Um, and I as see. you know, doing the whole like wasteland, get back wasteland with Titania thing is pretty nice. So yeah, it's just a one-off. Oh yeah, that makes a lot of sense. All right, I'm going to look at these three cards. This is a tower, by the way. Oh uh, yeah, the new art one. Yeah, I know, right? I want the <laughs> I've got one of each as well. It's so ugly. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, so um. So we're definitely keeping these. Uh, I can afford to take a small amount of damage. Uh, I don't want to take too much, but I can take a small amount of it. Okay, so I'm going to take four. And we'll go to 11. I'll draw those two. Uh, and just in case my bibliotech gets destroyed, uh, let's go... Uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be bad for you, right? Uh, I'll abrupt decay your pernicious deed. Oh, the deed, sure. Because you can't really destroy it here because otherwise your little fella dies. Um, deed down. Hmm. Okay, and now we will make a... I think that deed's not great when you go to Planeswalker, though. I just wanted to out, it, it's good to just play it out though because then people overload the board a lot less um, yeah, and it's also true. mana saving it, it means I can like have a choice uh, later instead of having to go deed blow mm. I can if I play the deed early then I can go untap blow deed and then load the board so you can get like a different way to play it but you yeah one yeah, way I play around, one way I play around force the other way I, but I don't play around of Optica you know that makes a lot of sense. Um, I'm just going to pass turn to you uh, after making a, a food token. Okay. I'm going to crack a clue. Yep. So how eagerly... I, didn't, I wasn't eager on losing Oko just to give you an Astrolabe and me get a Hex Drinker. Because I'd just turn my Oko into a Hex Drinker. I'd rather build up. So you don't have any, you don't have any um, creatures at all. No creatures at all. But you do probably have a Snapcaster Mage. I am representing three mana. Yeah. <laughs> and swords to play our shares in the graveyard. Let's go scavenging ooze. Oh, scavenging ooze. That's not ideal. Um, okay, so we'll go to three. And I will cast Snap Custom Mage. <laughs> and I will Swords to Plowshares the Hex Drinker. You got it. You read me like a book. Yes. You may gain some life. Thank you, Sab. Thank <laughs> you. Um, thinking. Let's go Tireless Tracker. Tireless Tracker. And how many cards do you have in hand? One. Oh, could it be a Fetch Land? B. Um, Interesting. Uh, yeah, Tireless Tracker resolves. Is it, it a fetch is land? a swamp. Oh, not a fetch land. <laughs> nice. And, and I'll pass. Okay, I'll tap and I'll trigger this. One, two, and three. Okay. So we draw this and we draw that. Okay. So I don't pay any life here. I'll draw. Okay. Uh, we'll go... One, and I'll play an Astrolabe, and I'll draw, and then I'll play this Fetchland. 
Okay, so you can have a food token and I will take a, oh, let's see. I'll take a tireless tracker, then I'll play fetch land, right? That's better. That's better. <laughs> Strictly better. All right, thank you for the tracker. I'll play my fetch land and I'll make a clue. Uh, and I'll get myself a tireless tracker in just a moment. Okay, uh, so I've done all my abilities and then I'll pass the turn to you. It's like how when you build a deck, you should um, you should like have the tokens for the deck, you know, the <laughs> tokens that it generates. But if you're playing Oko, you should just have like every card. Yeah, all uh, access to every possible card. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's going to be your friend and saviour, Titania. I'm going to respond. Uh, so I will, this taps you out and you have no other cards, relevant cards, all right? I do have Caracas up, that's it. All right, I'll fetch, uh, and I'll lose one life and I'll hard cast Force of Will. Yep. Not looking good for the hero. I'll pass <laughs> turn. Uh, all right, I'll get myself the other basic forest here. Okay, so, uh, we're on scavenging ooze with no green mana. We're live. We're live to Oko. Okay. I just have to draw Oko, okay, but I don't have it. I know Uro. Okay. Uro. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll do a library. All right, I'll draw this uh, into this. Uh, that into that. Okay. So you can draw lots of clues, but I think I'll have the board now and start beaten down because I can turn my clue into an elk. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> and I have the aggro. The aggro has begun. Uh, all right, I'll, I won't take any life. I'll just draw one card here. Okay, uh, so this is going to go up to three. This uh, little, mm, yeah, maybe I want the card draw. All right, this, this astrolabe is going to become an elk. All right, so the tireless tracker. Uh, let's see, I have some here. Here we go. Elk. This tireless tracker is um, a three-two, right? Normally. Yeah, three-two human scout. There we go. So three-two. So if I crack this, he'll become a bit bigger, which is enough to tango with the scavenging ears. So let's uh, attack with these, and I will. Uh, you got you got no other things yet. I'll attack with the scan uh, with the snapcaster as well. I'm now the so big we've down. got a we've got a three two a three three and a two two two, two one yep so eight total. I'll take it. Alrighty, I'm on eighteen. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, where the when the beatdowns don't actually matter. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go. I think it'll. Quickly add it up though, so it will, it will. <laughs> uh, I'll pass turn to you. Alrighty. Draw. Mm, I'm a little stuffed on green mana. I've only got two greens actually. Ah, interesting. I uh, assume you've got something because you wouldn't just let me kill your scoos for nothing. So I assume you've got Codal. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I might be priced into swinging anyway. Um, I think if you have Uro, I'm going to lose either way. So I am going to attack. Oh, Uro. Uh, okay. So. Okay. Yeah, uh, let's see this codal. You got one card in hand, you say. One. One card. One of the best. One. It's pretty good. All right. Uh, I'll flash this in. You got it. I'm going to crack clue. Yep. Crack. I can do this smarter. I no. I can't do it smarter. I'm gonna crack clue. Okay. And then I'll just uh, eat one of your codals to gain a life. Yep, eat, you gain a life. It comes three, three. Uh, I'll draw it off this. And then, yes, I will block. Alrighty. Uh, it's gonna be Hex Drinker. Uh, you got Hex Drinker. And then land and I'll try to level it up. Cool, I'll decay it. 
Yeah, I'll skip. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I just had Hardcast Force waiting in there and I was, uh, I was debating about just letting Oko die and just in case you had a, like a follow-up Titania or something, um, like Titania and land because you got the clues to crack. But I think it was still fine to just do that because I could always crack this clue and draw this blue card. Yeah, so. well, uh, I mean, like, a deed is always a... Uh, one, another reason I played the deed out is because top-decking deed in the late game is always, like, quite good. Yes. And you, get, yes. you can get you back into, into games that you've, you're very far behind. Um, especially against I found a lot of those Yorion decks. And I think mm. ripping D there would have been okay, but yeah, you yeah. had the force anyway. Like um, if you if you kill my Planeswalker and then you hit the D and I don't have a blue card for the force, but uh, yeah, the library helps because it just always know exactly what's on top, ready to ready to get it. Yeah. Um, but if it one... wasn't a blue card, then you could have stabilized, right? Kill everything and I have a I don't even have an um, Oko because I chose not to block. Mm. But yeah, I mean, if I could kill the Oko and then land a deed, I, I'd be all right. But there's no scenario where that would have happened. Yeah, yeah. But interestingly, I mean, I died with a bit of gas. I mean, I guess I was running low on gas, but I still had a clue. I wasn't. Yeah. I, I, I never got to full top deck mode. Is what I'm trying to say. That's it. And I think Tyler's Tracker drew you about four cards, which is did draw a lot. represents a lot of a lot of value. Right? Mm. Awesome. Well, hopefully everyone at home has uh, enjoyed those matches. We might see you again in a future match of Legacy Playtesting. Thanks for watching, guys.